What's going on everybody? Welcome to another tutorial of our X11 series. At the latest tutorial we've just made a simple buggy uh, paint program. Now we are going to enhance it a little bit more. Uh, however, as you remember, uh, when we last did it, uh, we've disabled uh, resizing this window because whenever we resize the window, all of the drawings that we have done uh, will be gone. Uh, therefore, for now, we are just going to make it a fixed width window. And after that, we are just going to solve the bugs of this in like uh, three videos or something like that. So, uh, in this video, we are going to add new colors for our drawing program. And I think I'll just use blue. So, instead of uh, black, we are going to use a blue line for this. And uh, to be able to do it, we need to include a new library, which is the XFT library, free type library. So, I'll just uh, copy actually this paint program and let's just say this is paint colored and in paint colored we need to make some adjustments in our make files so in our libraries now we need to include I think LXFT or something like that and we need to conf uh, add its flex too so what is the flex for XFT uh, so I think it's a little bit long, therefore I think I'll just do something like this. So pkj-config uh, cflex and what was that? xft and I'll just set this program. So now paint.c uh, Now let's just include our new libraries. So include I think it's an x11 yeah, xft and xft that dot header. Uh, by the way, uh, I need to tell you something too. So I'm making a auto compile commands.json generator uh, because sometimes some uh, libraries may differ in locations. It may not be on default path. Actually, let me just show you. So as you can see now, my C program isn't complaining about anything. However, if I just remove this compile commands.json and open my C program again, as you can see, I have an error in this uh, x11 xft.header uh, because it's not on my path. So to be able to overcome these errors, just uh, use clangd to generate, use some program to generate compile flex.json. And I just have an auto command for this. If I save my make file, it will automatically generate my compile commands. Alright, so let's continue. Uh, we need to actually make some differences in our paint program too. So it will be paint colored actually. And now our, our paint.c will be paint colored.c. Alright, nice. So let's try to write it now. So I'll just define a new color here. And let's say it will be blue. And I think this is blue. Yes, this is blue. And uh, let's just make our visual uh, top level declara declaration. So static um, visual pointer. So let's go this way. And where should we create it? Actually, let's just create it on our main. So just after main window, I'll just get values of our visual. So default visual, our display and screen and I think in create window we've used uh, default visual here I'll just delete this and replace it with our top level declaration visual alright so nice so let's continue so to be able to create a color let's just make it a top level declaration for now again so actually let's, we can define it in our main program I think so GCGC, the struct's name is, I think, XFT color. And let's just say this This is color underscore blue. And uh, actually, we need to allocate a member for this because we are creating a pointer of it, obviously. So I'll just malloc and size of XFT color. All right, nice. So let's just write a new function now. And this will again be static function, and let's just say this create color. Uh, however, I don't remember the exact 
uh, parameters which we are going to need. So I think it's exactly color alloc name. Yeah, this is it. So display, uh, visual, color map, uh, our name, and result, which will be our XAT color. All right, so cool. So I think we are just going to need uh, one parameter in here. And that will be XFT color pointer, our color blue. And do we are going to need its name. So I think it could be a const card pointer name. All right, so cool. So now uh, we need to try to allocate our color. So if not, uh, XFT color alloc name and our display so default visual so color map you can just check this but i'll just use the default one for now and name will be name and result will be our color blue so why did i write this in an if branch so if we can't allocate color we are just going to throw out an error obviously so add x one and let's just say can't allocate and after this, oops, I didn't write the function name, so I think yeah, this could be a void function. And after this, uh, I want to show you a trick. Uh, I've just seen this from DWM source code. So uh, whenever we allocate colors, uh, if, for example, our terminal is transparent, and obviously we have borders in it, uh, if we use colors like this, our borders are going to be transparent. And obviously we don't want that, so DWM find a way to solve this. And actually it's pretty simple. I won't explain the whole logic, but I'll just try to explain it a little bit. If you are curious, just uh, Google it and I'm sure you can find some answers. So now this color blue is uh, initiated and it has two parameters. So the first parameter is our color blue dot uh, color and pixel. We are going to use the pixel one and we are just going to or it with uh, 8 bits shifted by 24. So if you do something like this, uh, the transparency won't be seen on your uh, terminal window, therefore the borders will be uh, fully uh, opaque and the terminal will be transparent if it is transparent, if it's not, it doesn't matter actually. Or if you are not using any transparent programs, you can just uh, comment this out if you want, but I won't do it for now. Alright, so let's continue. So now we have our create color function, and we need to create our color before we create our graphics context. Uh, because in our graphics context, uh, we, are go we set our uh, foreground to black pixel, we are just going to change this foreground here. Uh, also, now, since uh, we are going to, we created our uh, XFT color in our main program, now we need to pass it as a parameter for our uh, graphics context. So this will take one parameter, XFT color, and let's just call this foreground actually. It makes sense. So, uh, before our graphics context, we can create our colors, so what was the function actually? Create color, I think. Yes, so color blue. And what's our name? It's blue, obviously. Why is this giving an error? So it will be blue. Did I just... What was our parameter? So const car for your name. And I think it should work. So, all right, so let's just do something like this. It doesn't matter, actually. Let's just say that const card pointer uh, color name, and that would be equal to blue. Oops, I've just forgotten this here, guys. I'm really sorry. So I think we won't need this, actually. So I'll just delete that one. And in our create color function, we are just going to pass our color blue and our string blue. Alright, so cool. And in our graphics context, I'll just pass our 
uh, color map for that. And now in our create GC function, we need to do something because uh, we need to change our foreground now. So our foreground will actually not black pixel now, and it's just pretty simple. It will be foreground to pixel. So uh, this sets foreground foreground to. Uh, I think they are good to go now, so let's try to run it now. So let me move it. And as you can see, we have successfully drawing blue lines for now. So what else can we do? So for example, if mouse button 2 is pressed, uh, actually we can revert our uh, line to, I don't know, like... Uh, we can swap it between black and blue. Actually, we can do something like that. Uh, Alright, so let's try to do something like that to be able to beautify a program a little more. So if our case is button press, and if it is button one, we are going to draw a point. And else if our uh, button is not button one, but button two, uh, we are going to set, actually we need a boolean value for this actually. So let's just do something like this. Actually, it doesn't even need to be static, so let's just call this swap swap color and initially it's real. Oops, sorry. And if our button is button 2, so actually let's just make a parenthesis here. So if, what was that? Black color or I'm sorry I just forgot it. Yeah, swap color. Alright, so oops. So if swap color. So if swap color, we are just going to set our foreground for display, our GC. And let's just say this is black pixel. Alright, cool. So if swap color, we are going to set it to this, and we are going to set our swap color to zero, and else uh, we are going to set our foreground to display uh, graphics context, and what was it? So color blue, I think. Wasn't it color blue? Let's just check it now. So we need to pass it as a parameter again because our run function has no idea of this uh, color blue for now. So let's just do it. It's not actually a huge problem. So x at the color pointer and let's just say this is color blue again. And we are just going to set our foreground to uh, color blue to pixel. And we are just going to set our swap color to one point now. So I think we are good to go, but let's just change this function in our main program. So GC and I'm just going to give color blue for there. And I forgot to do anything. So uh, as you remember, uh, we have allocated some memory on heap for this XFT color and I never freed it. So we need to do that. Uh, after our freeing graphics context, so I think XFT color color free or something like that. Mm, I think it's X color X free. X free, yes, so X free or X FT free, I'm not sure. X FT free color. It, let's just use this, so XFT color free. Yeah. Yes, I think that's it. So display our default visual, uh, default color map of our display and screen. Uh, what was our name? So we just do for here. No, this is the wrong function. So what was that? XFT color free, I think. Yeah, okay, all right. So display our visual, uh, default color map, our display and screen. And what was our color? Color blue. Alright, so now free all our memory and let's try to write let's try to run this program now. So now it's blue and if I hit right click, 
Uh, nothing happens. Why is that? Let's just check it for now. Did we give our event mask button press mask? Yeah, so it's okay. Button release mask, button press mask. So why it is not working? So else if our button is this, we've set our foreground to black pixel. If swap color, else we've set our foreground to our color blue, blue pixel. Uh, let's try to do it like this. So, no, it's still not changing. Uh, does it even come here? Uh, I'm not sure, so let's just check it. Uh, color changed to blue. And color changed to black. Uh, Alright, nice. So let's try it now. So I think it doesn't print anything. Let's try to uh, debug our program. So if our button is uh, button 2, I think this is okay. And. So okay, button is just it's in it to 0. Uh, I want to do something like this. Uh, I'll just delete here for now. Actually, I'll just comment here for now. Because I couldn't find the bug. I'm sorry for your precious time. If I do something like this, yeah. So it's definitely not seeing my uh, button too. Yeah, so because uh, I'm an idiot, guys. Uh, I'm pretty sorry. Uh, I forgot to... Uh, even I forgot it sometimes. Uh, button 3 is our right color in X11. Uh, therefore... This is not working because I was pressing my right click for that. So it will be button 3 for right click, button 2, two, button two was middle click. I'm sorry, I think I'll delete these lines too because I think it will work. So cool. Yeah. So it's uh, working pretty good now. Whenever I press uh, button 2, it automatically changes my uh, color. It swaps from black to white, uh, black to blue. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry for this little bug and in the next video I'm thinking of doing something like this so we are going to put some uh, new windows here so one two three or some windows there and whenever we click that window we are going to change our color uh, for to whichever color uh, that it's currently using so uh, see you guys in the next tutorial uh, take care guys